Hey guys, uh, this is Talk Custom here with the third video of the How to Be a Twitch Creative Broadcaster tutorial series. On this video, we are going to do um, alerts, so followers, host alerts, sub alerts, stuff like that, uh, on screen events, uh, donation ticker, and some other interactive graphics. So if you're not sure what that means, just hang out and let's do this stuff together. Um, so the first thing uh, that we're going to do is we're going to set up an account on Streamlabs. So if you don't know what Streamlabs is, this is what I used for, for my alerts. Um, so you go to streamlabs.com up here, and then you should see something like this if you've never set it up. So if you're logged into your Twitch account, you just hit connect with Twitch. Okay, now I'm logged into Streamlabs, and um, you can make sure that your username is logged in here on the top right. Um, and the first thing I did was I went to my alert box widget here. Um, so if you go to that, you're going to see all these settings for how to set up your alerts. Um, and the first thing you're going to want to do is copy this link here where the widget URL is. And you're going to copy it. And then we're going to bring it back to OBS and click the plus here under sources. And we're going to add a browser source for alerts. Um, so I'm going to rename this Streamlabs alerts hit ok and then where it says url we're going to paste that url from our streamlabs alerts into this space here and i'm not going to change the height or the width yet and then i'm just going to hit ok so that's going to go blank because it's transparent and i'm going to put this right here so it's a big red box kind of covering the, the workshop camera there um, now when you go back to your Streamlabs, uh, you're gonna see all these different test buttons. So when you click that, I'm gonna do a test follow real quick. And it's gonna trigger the follow alert. So I've got my logo here, I've got green text that shows the name, and then red text that says following. Um, so you can try out all the different test alerts. Um, and then if you would like to configure them so they look different and they have your logo or a GIF or graphic and your own sound effect, you can play with all these different settings here, um, you know, so that you can set up the way you want it to look on your channel. So you do follows, subs, donations, hosts, and bits. Uh, I'll, I'll let you guys figure that out. It's pretty simple. But I just wanted to show you how to get this link here and put it into Streamlabs so that it will trigger, trigger your alerts. The next thing we're going to do is set up some on-screen events. Uh, on-screen events are its going to show us a list of the most recent activities on our channel. So anyone who follows or hosts or resubs or anything like that will show up here. So I'm going to go to the event list on my widgets here. And I'm going to set my max events to three for right now and hit save. Um, and then I'm going to click this to show the URL and we're gonna copy this link. And just like the alerts, we're gonna add a new browser source. I'm gonna call this uh, on-screen events and hit okay. Now in the URL, we're gonna paste that same link there and I'm gonna hit okay. Now, uh, you can see on the bottom there, I've got all my events right here. Now say I want that about right there. Now you can do this a couple of different ways. You can either um, transform this to the exact you know size that you want. So this is 800 by 600 pixels. Um, or you can just hold alt and crop this frame to just show in that area like that. Um, so something like that should be fine. Now I can see where um, you know, all my followers and hosts and subs will show up. And you can do some tests if you do a test donation or a test follow. Um, I've got an alert here, and it's also going to show on my events on the bottom there. Uh, and it goes away if you do a test. So that's fine. So now I've got on-screen alerts and on-screen events happening together. The next thing we're going to do is set up a, a donation ticker right in this box here. Um, so this is just something that shows off all your recent donations. So if you go to the donation ticker widget, uh, you can click this to show your donation URL. Copy that link, do a new browser source and call it 
donators. Hit OK. Paste the link in the URL and hit OK. And now I've got uh, my recent donators showing up here. So I can hold Alt to crop this to that proper size, or you can size it manually, whichever you want. And then I can just kind of place it so it's centered, and I'm going to crop the edge so it matches up perfectly with the little box we made in our overlay. And that looks pretty good just like that. Um, so again, you can you know, change the settings so you can change how fast it scrolls, the font size, the colors, how many donators it shows, this shows 10. So whatever you want to do to make this exactly the way you want it to look is going to be great. Uh, the next thing I'm going to set up is I'm going to do on-screen chat in the bottom left corner here. Uh, not everyone does this, but if you want to do it, uh, you go to the chat box widget, uh, click the widget URL to show the link, copy the link, go back to your OBS, and you're going to set up a new browser source again and just call it chat. Hit OK, paste the URL there, and hit OK. Uh, so now I've got a box here where my on-screen chat is going to show up. So to test our on-screen chat, you actually have to go to your Twitch chat room and start typing things in. So I can just type um, something in here, and it should show up in that box right there. Okay, so now it says test a bunch of times. Uh, again, if I keep chatting here, it's going to go all the way up and fill that box, which we don't want. So you can crop it, you can um, do something like that, so that if I do a bunch of emotes or something like that, you know, you just want to try to fill that space so it looks normal. Um, so that looks fine. Uh, I would leave it just like that. Um, so now I've got chat, alerts, events, and donators. Um, all interactive on my channel already. So that was pretty easy, and I think everything looks great. Uh, again, you can change some of the settings for your on-screen chat. Um, and one extra thing I'm gonna do is add this thing. It's called the jar. So a lot of you have seen a BitCup or the Streamlabs jar. Um, so just like the same way, you're gonna go to the jar, click your URL, copy it, uh, set up a new browser source and call it BitCup. Paste the link here and hit OK. And now I've got uh, a box where there's a big glass coffee mug that will fill up with little logos and bits and stuff like that. You can change the sizing and scale it however you want and place it anywhere you need to. Um, so now I've got five things on my stream that makes it look a lot more polished. Uh, we've got donators, alerts, events, a bit cup, and on-screen chat. Um, the next thing we're going to talk about is a program called GIFBOT. Uh, GIFBOT is a program developed by another creative broadcaster named Fierce Kittens. Uh, and this is a program that's designed to allow chat and the broadcaster to display uh, GIFs, videos, sound effects, and other things onto your stream. So these are all my preloaded GIFs. If I click on uh, one of these, it's going to display an image here or a GIF that I can have chat put up on screen. Um, so I just wanted to talk about how to set this up and how to integrate it with your channel. So if I go to the GIFBOT menu and go to bot settings, I'm going to get this window here. Um, so you need a bot account in order to operate this. If you don't know what that is, you may have to do some research. Uh, but basically, you end up making a second Twitch account, and you call it whatever you want your bot name to be. So mine is TalkBot right here. So you put TalkBot, uh, or whatever your bot name is. Uh, and then you're going to put your main primary channel name here. And then you have to log into your bot's account and click on this button. And this is going to help you generate an OAuth token from your bot account that needs to be in here. So your bot will be watching your channel and it's going to help you operate GIFBOT. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, but this is a really fun way to have some more interactivity with your channel. So once you're done with that, you'll hit save. 
and then uh, you can start loading in GIFs. To add a new GIF, we're going to open the GIF manager here. Uh, you're going to click the plus to add a new animation, and you're, you have to start with an exclamation point and then call it whatever you want uh, to trigger the event. Uh, you hit OK, and then you find your, uh, this is just going to be exclamation point test. Then you'd add your animation, uh, audio file, and then there's some other settings here. So let's let's pull up one as an example. So if I do the bees GIF, and I hit turn on visual placement, this is going to show me where the animation is going to show up. I can move this around and put this anywhere I want. I have it set up right on the bottom here. And then you can trigger how long you want it to last. Um, if you want it to have a cooldown, how big or small, you can scale it bigger or smaller. Um, and then you can place it anywhere that you want. Um, so you do this in milliseconds. So if you want it to do 10 seconds, it's 10,000 milliseconds. Um, when you're done, you just hit save here, and it's going to tell you that you saved it. Um, and then when you get back to uh, your little control panel here, if you double click on one of these, it's going to trigger the event on GIFBOT uh, and play for as long as it needs to. And then it's just going to stop. So to integrate this with um, our OBS layout, we're going to add a new uh, window capture here. I'm going to call this GIFBOT, hit OK, and now I'm going to pick the window called GIFBOT.exe. Uh, when I hit OK, it's going to add this big green box that I want to fill up my whole screen all the way. Um, now we need to make this green transparent so that you only see the animation that you want. So you're going to right click on that and click on filters, you're going to click the plus and then find the one that says chroma key, hit OK, and then you just want the color key type to say green, and it should do it for you. You can play with um, how smooth it is and if you need to blur it a little bit like that, but it should be fine if you just select green. So now I've got a big box here that's all transparent, and if I bring my control panel back and I trigger the apron GIF, uh, it should play the animation of me taking an apron off in the bottom corner because that's the way I have it set up. And when it's done, it'll just end. Um, so the way that works is if I go to my chat room and I type exclamation point apron, it's going to put it in chat down here. You can see I can set it and it's going to trigger it on GIFBOT so that everyone can see it on screen. Um, so GIFBOT is that simple and it's a lot of fun. You can do a lot of stuff with sound effects and videos, uh, GIFs and graphics, but it's a really fun way to add some extra flavor to your channel. Um, and a huge shout out to Fierce Kittens for developing that specifically for broadcasters like myself. Uh, make sure you check out her channel. She's a wonderful sewing streamer and she is a very good friend of mine. All right, the next thing we're gonna talk about is a, uh, another bot that I use called BrainBot. Uh, BrainBot is a, another complete um, bot that you can use for your channel to govern everything. Um, so if you go to BrainBot.com and click sign up, log in, it'll ask you to log in through your account, and then you should get to the main console page. Uh, and this bot does everything you need to do on a channel. Um, but I, I use it for a lot of its really fun on-screen toys and things that I can interact with chat with. Um, so say for example I want to do an on-screen poll where I can ask chat a question and they can all vote. Uh, I go to the on-screen poll, uh, I need the URL here, and we're going to copy this, and I can add this as a browser source, and we're going to call it polls. I can paste it in there and hit OK. So now I've got a big box here where it's going to show on-screen polls. Uh, so if I go back to this, I can ask chat a question like, do you like tacos? And give them some options like yes, no, uh, totally, maybe. Uh, so then if I hit start poll here, it's going to start an on-screen poll. So now if... Um, I want to vote on one of these, I go to my chat, 
and I can just type, let's say I like tacos, I would enter one and hit enter. Uh, now, there's one vote for yes, so I can see Talk Custom voted one for tacos, and TalkBot can vote uh, two for no, and it's gonna, you know, have a real-time on-screen uh, voting for any question that you want. So that's a really fun thing to do with chat uh, to keep, you know, things interactive. Your mods can actually control this, so your mods can run on-screen polls and stuff like that. Uh, another thing that's really fun is the on-screen spinner. So this is going to uh, add a random... Uh, what would you call it? It's, it's a random way of selecting anything that you want. So I can add a new browser source and call it the spinner and add the link for that. Now if I run my spinner by putting a bunch of things in here, I've got a bunch of different activities in here for when I meet people at TwitchCon. So if I hit start spinner, oh, that doesn't fit. Uh, it's gonna do a spinner. Uh, to make this fit, you have to go to properties and I'm gonna make it a box that's 1000 by 1000, hit enter and I'm going to clear the spinner and then start it again. There we go. Now it fits and I can make it smaller. And I've got a fun uh, kind of random generator that's gonna help me pick things. This is also a fun way to do like small giveaways or uh, just, you know, some fun stuff like that. So I can clear the spinner there. Uh, what else? And there's something else that I really, really, really love called DualBot. Um, now, DualBot is a way where you can have two viewers fight each other, and it will have a random animated battle on screen. So if I go to the on-screen URL and copy this, I can set up a new browser source and call it Dual, and we can paste it there and hit OK. Now I've got my blank box here. So if I have my bot account, Dual, my Talk Custom account, how do I do that? Here we go. Uh, I can hit exclamation point dual talk custom and hit enter. So I'm gonna have a duel between myself and my bot right now. And uh, you can bet on it. So you have, uh, BrainBot has channel currency. So you can set up your own currency where all the viewers generate their own currency. Um, and you can bet and fight and stuff like that. So I've got talk custom dueling talk bot right here and it's waiting for people to start betting on who they think is going to win um, and then after a certain amount of time the duel will start so it should give me a timer uh, after the betting closes um, there it goes it says ready three two one go and then they're going to start fighting so you can just kind of stick this in the corner or you can set up a little thing like that for it so that you can watch people fighting each other. Uh, it's total RNG, so it's a random winner every time, but it's a lot of fun and it's just one extra thing to make your channel a little bit more interactive and fun. Okay, so we've got our events, uh, our alerts, our chat, our BitCup, uh, our donators. We've got uh, GiftBot, which will put up some fun animations on screen here. Uh, we have our BrainBot, which does all kinds of fun things with uh, spinners and poles, uh, different games that we can play, uh, and things like that. The next video we're gonna talk about is how to get ready for stream, how to configure your audio and video, how to put in your stream key, and get ready to go live. And we're gonna talk about you know, optimizing to make your stream look as good as it can. Uh, based on your hardware. Thank you guys so much for watching these videos. I hope they help you set up your brand new creative stream or help uh, make your stream look a little bit more polished. If you have any other questions, please ask me in the comments below. Otherwise, I really hope this is a big help. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.